It's because of my lack of taqwa. He pointed the finger at who? Himself. Imam al Rida alayhi salam says, Awhallahu ilayhi. Allah inspired his heart at that moment, at that moment where he criticized himself. Being critical of yourself. My dear brothers and sisters, people when they become religious, unfortunately, they have a tendency to do what? I start wearing the hijab, I start praying, I get my, you know, my aqiq ring, I start going to the masjid, I don't miss Jumu'ah, I go to Dua Kumail, I start praying Salatul Layl, I do all of these things. What do I start to do, unfortunately? I start to judge other people. I start to feel that I'm superior to them. I start to criticize those who are less religious than I am. I shift my focus away from tazkiyatul nafs to what? Tazkiyatul ghayr. I try to purify other people. I focus on other people. There's a beautiful hadith from Imam Ali ibn Musa al-Ridha salawatullahi alayhi. <coughs> Where he says, Inna rajulan min Bani Israel. There was a man from Bani Israel. Sana. He worshipped Allah, devoted himself to Ibadah for 40 years. Walam yuqbal min. But 40 years of Ibadah was not accepted. He was worshipping, doing all of these rituals for 40 years, and he saw there was no there was no improvement. You know, some of us, we've been praying for 10, 15, 20 years, coming to Majalis, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, and we're the same people we were 30 years ago. There's no improvement. The ha Imam al Ridha says when he saw that there was no improvement, that he's not progressing, he blamed himself. He took responsibility. He says, This is my fault. It's because of my sins. It's because of my lack of taqwa. He pointed the finger at who? Himself. Imam al Rida alayhi salam says, Awhallahu ilayhi. Allah inspired his heart at that moment, at that moment where he criticized himself. Awhallahu ilayhi. Dhammuka nafsak afdalu min ibadati arba'ina sana. This moment where you criticized your nafs, where you criticized yourself, this feeling, this moment of self-examination was better than the 40 years of ibadah. If ibadah is not making you more humble, it's not ibadah. If you're a religious person, but you're focused on what Fulan is doing and why this girl, this sister is wearing makeup, if that's what you're only focused on, that's not real ubudiyah. Because someone who is fixated on correcting and perfecting himself, they're too busy to look and search for the shortcomings of others.